Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video guys, we'll talk about jQuery this selector. And guys, I want to tell you that it is a very very important selector in jQuery. So, just think guys, uh, we have many p -dax. Um I'll copy it. Paste it. I have p six p -dags, so I write this is first p tag. I'll copy it, paste it. Right, this is second, this is third, this is fourth, and then this is fifth, and uh, this is sixth. Firstly, guys, I'll open it in browser. Now you can see I have six p tags. Guys, if I now apply some jQuery to only one p tag, what what will it do? Then, uh, uh, so firstly, guys, in this tutorial, I will use a click event. So about events, I will teach you in my upcoming tutorials in detail. I am just demonstrating it. So I write p dot click dot click and uh, then brackets of this function, and in between this, I will type function then function brackets and then two curly brackets and in between these two curly brackets I will, will write our jQuery code so what happen if I write p dot hide means if I will click any of p tag then it will hide the p tags so firstly I refresh if I click on it you will see every p tag is hidden but we want to hide or we want to apply jQuery only one of the p tags so the second way is we will give some class names so I'll give it name of one then p dot one means it will hide that p tag who has a class name of one so if I refresh if I click it now you can see it is hidden but guys if we have many p tags like uh, we have uh, p tags of 30 40 50 in our html document then what we will do it is very difficult to give a different class name or different id to every p tag so in that case we will use jquery this selector so i will remove it here and uh, i'll write this uh, no quotes are required for this tag so when i will click on p tag then it will hide that p tag just for an example if i means i want to hide this fifth p tag so if i'll click on it now you can see it the fifth p tag is hidden in the same way if i want to hide third p tag i'll click on it now you can see it's hidden in the same way if i do i found to hide second p tag so i will click on this p tag and now you can see so when i click any of p tag then it will hide that p tag so in this uh, in the uh, now you can see that how much this selector is important in jquery so this was about jquery this selector so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see you in the next tutorial